All right, and welcome back to the Experiments with the Phase Locked Loop series of videos that I'm doing for Raul's World of Sense. I am Raul. This time around, we're going to be looking at just basic patches utilizing the Phase lock Loop. Um, this first patch that we're going to be looking at, if you look on the Dofer A196 page, it's going to be listed towards the bottom, and it's called the Sequencer Patch on the website. Uh, now the basic foundation of this is going to be two VCOs, which are pictured right here, um, and those are going to be producing sound primarily. Um, one of them is going to be routed over into our ring mod, the other one's going to be routed into our phase lock loop, and that's going to go over into the other input of our ring mod. Our ring mod out is going to go into the low pass filter over here, and then our low pass filter is going to go out to our mixer. Um, now, in some kind of preliminary tests, I didn't feel like that was kind of a thick enough sound or providing enough variety, so I decided to put my own little spin on it. Um, I decided to throw in a VCA, which in a little while you'll see how that's going to integrate into this. Uh, for shaping, we have the A140 kind of hanging out over here, and this is going to be generating a control voltage signal that will be fed to both the low-pass filter and the VCA in a little bit uh, to kind of shape it a little bit to either give us a short sound or to kind of give us a long kind of legato-ish sound. Uh, the only other important thing that I want to mention here is uh, the notes are going to be uh, coming from the A190 over here on the left uh, via an external source out here. I have some notes that are going to be sent into the MIDI in and since I'm working in a Dofer A100 uh, G6 case uh, internally it's routed such that the notes that are going to be fed into here are going to going, be going to both the VCOs and then the gates that are coming in are going to go to the A140. This will make a little bit more sense once we start hearing these things. Uh, but I did want to mention that so you're not just looking at this going, well where is all this stuff coming from? Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we are going to be setting up a little bit of the sequence here. Uh, I'm going to be going primarily right off the website for some of this. So for instance, on the website it has a triangle output from the first VCO going over into the Y input of the ring mod. So we're going to keep that. Uh, we're going to be taking the square output from our phase lock loop and then going into the X in of our ring mod. And then we also have the pulse out right there uh, going into the signal in of our phase lock loop. It's another part of our little signal chain here. And then we have the XY out of our ring mod. There we go. Going into our low pass filter. There we are. And then our low pass filter is going to be going out from here and then over into our mixer. There we go. You can hear slightly small amount of sound. My level's fairly low right there. Let me bring it up a little bit. So you can hear just the basic signal right there. Um, and then the other part of this is going to be the envelope generator it needs to go over to the control voltage of our low pass filter. So we're going to start with just the basic sound that's on the website. Uh, just so you can hear what it sounds like, and then we'll jump in and add my little spin on it as well. So here we go. Our sequence is coming, and just watch this light, and you'll start to see and hear some activity going on over here. So here we go. So there are our notes coming in. Let me turn this up a little bit. So that is our basic sound right there. And you'll be able to hear if I bring the cutoff down. like that right there. They're kind of tinny. So that is our basic sound right there. Now if I wanted to, I could go in and uh, adjust the low pass filter here and you'll hear what kind of effect this is actually going to have on the phase lock loop component. So you can hear it has kind of a mild kind of warbly or jittery type effect on the output signal there. 
change my sequence over to my set first pattern, as I should say. Just for a little variety, so we're not listening to the same thing over and over again. So that's the basic idea. Let me turn the cutoff up a little bit. So that's what we're going to be starting with. Now, when I listened to this, I thought this was maybe a little bit too thin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the waveforms from here. Let's do something different, like a saw. Go into our VCA right here. It's going to be that one. And then I want to take maybe a sign, something different. And go over into input 2 of our VCA. And then I'm going to take second output from our A140. Go over into see the input of our gain of the A131. And then just go out from here into input number 2. Here we go. This is going to be the VCA 2 signals. just a little bit down. I'm getting a little overload in my mixer. There we go. Alright, so now we got the basic signal going and we got the little basic sequencer patch. Change my pattern a little bit just for a little bit of variety. Now at this point you can go in and start adjusting um, how you want it to behave. So you can change the cutoff of the low pass filter at the phase lock loop. And you can hear that's adding a little bit more warble to it. Now if I bring it all the way over here, it's kind of more a straight sound, not quite as warbly and chaotic, but at this point you would just then balance what you want to hear through your speakers or your mixer or your computer program, whatever you're using, or your performance. Now I can also go into the A140 over here and start making some adjustments, like right now the sounds are fairly short, but if I want something a little longer, maybe too high of a release. do something like that. Just the mix of my two signals, my VCA and my phase lock loop. Now that right there is just my straight oscillators. As you can hear, not my Rigmon signal. Turn that all the way down. So fairly a nice sound, and at this point I can even try and get a nicer balance of my two waveforms right there. I think it was distorting a little bit. There we go. Now let's bring the phase lock loop signal back in. kind of a ring mod signal. Switch over to a different pattern. Now at this point, if I want to pinpoint uh, something that I want to change, I have a lot of options here. I can adjust the cutoff of my filter. So if I want something a little more squelchy, I could even bring up my resonance. I don't want to go too high though. Or I could maybe bring down the release. I kind of actually like the short plucky sound. A little too plucky. Bring my signal back. Kind of like the envelope in the low setting rather than the high setting, or the medium setting, I'm sorry. 
to bring up the attack a little bit. And again, this is shaping both the VCA and the low pass filter cutoff. So there you are. Um, now let's try switching it over. And uh, I'm not sh exactly sure what this is going to do, but let's try it over in Comparator 3. And let me try and adjust the cutoff. A little too low. Not quite as melodic with what I was kind of playing with there. Switch back to number one. It's a nice little metallic flavor. I'd like to also bring that up. Let me try and bring the cutoff up a little. I'm gonna level up a little bit. And then my final output going in number one, I could just bring that up. Maybe bring the attack down a little bit. Let's go back into Comparator 2. So the idea is here, once the patch is set up, you can do all kinds of different things to adjust the timbre is going out. Um, in this particular patch, I happen to have two primarily uh, big parts of this sound, which are the low-pass filter sound, which is bringing in our ring mod, and then the second part of that is just our straight oscillators going in here. But if I wanted to vary that even more, I could maybe even bring in um, a couple more of these waveforms, like maybe the saw, just kind of create like a more of a drone. Over here in input three. Now since that's just something I just threw in there, might not be the best choice, but let me unpatch that and try a different waveform. Maybe triangle of a second oscillator. That's nice. Kinda like that. Maybe bring that up a little bit. Change my pattern up a little bit. So, tons of possibilities going on here. Um, this is going to be one of the basic patches that we're going to be doing. And for the most part, that's really all that uh, the focus of this particular uh, episode of Rouse World of Sense in the sequence of uh, phase lock loop videos uh, wanted to demonstrate. Uh, so primarily focus more on demonstration instead of explanation. Um, if this kind of introduced some questions that you might have, like, wait a minute, I don't know what a ring mod is. Hey, I don't know what uh, the A120 is. Never heard of that. Um, I do encourage you to kind of go back, and uh, I do have very extensive series out there uh, for your viewing uh, on the A110. If you have more questions about that, on the A120, the A114. Um, even a couple out there on the A131. So um, for this uh, segment, I just kind of wanted to focus more on the patch. Um, for the most part, that's going to do it this time around. Um, in the next segment, we'll be looking at a slightly different patch. Uh, I'm not sure which one we're going to do. Uh, it's going to either be the PLL Arabesque by Doug CL uh, of the Wiggler Forum, or uh, we might even be looking at the frequency multiplication because I'm kind of actually waiting right now for a uh, special module that we'll be utilizing in that video. Um, so please stay tuned and uh, I hope you found that this uh, video useful to you. And uh, keep on patching out there. Thanks for watching. <laughs>